So tell me, Tim, why do you like this particular movie so much? I find it so full of many, many richnesses. It's uh, got a good story. It's, it reveals an era that we know about but don't quite understand. Uh, and we, we have the reality of the fear of religion and the uh, kind of plagues and uh, hunger and uh, thirst that people uh, experienced every day in, the, uh, in that period. Uh, we have people that we can recognize and identify. Uh, we have this, uh, if you like, uh, mythic quality of the maybe Mary and Jesus with their little boy, uh, but maybe they are just actors uh, who, uh, who who do medieval mystery plays for general public entertainment, uh, and yet they are also tumblers and dancers. It, 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 it's such a full and rich canvas, uh, and uh, every time you see it, you see new things in it. I'd forgotten, for example, before the uh, uh, the, the little church that they come to, which. Uh, uh, and I've no idea whether that was a genuine church. I, I rather suspect it was because it looked so convincing. Uh, but it might have been uh, designed by the production designer to to uh, increase the, uh, the the feeling of the medieval period. Uh, you also have the sermon um, of the hellfire preacher, um, which sets uh, one level of the uh, uh, the morality that the film involves. Um, and uh, the, the game of chess, which one remembers uh, running all the way through it um, and, and being the knight's means of ensuring that uh, Mary and Joseph and the child uh, make their escape and, uh, and, and are not subject to the uh, uh, following death as all the rest of the characters do at the end of the film in that unforgettable shot which has been uh, repeated and parodied and uh, almost become a sort of a mythology. Uh, it's even found in Ted and uh, Edward's ex Excellent Adventure, or what it was called. Um, I mean, the film has got so many layers that uh, one can find more and more in it every time you see it.